Today on House Doctor and I we're going to be talking about mold growth and what we do to carry out a survey for mold. If you're a tenant with social housing or private landlord, you really need to watch today's show. This is a full comprehensive rundown of an actual mold survey and what is required to fully diagnose the problem. So here we are out on another um, mold survey. Um, I'll show you the mold growth in just a second. It's a standard bedroom, although it is facing south, so realistically it um, should be the warmest room in the house. So we're going to get a wee look here. First thing we're going to do is do the actual thermal imagery. Um, the position of the molds actually does look as though there could be an insulation problem, but uh, we'll prove that in a wee minute when we put the thermal imaging on it. Um, so we're uh, going to get started. So this is the actual survey here, you can just see down here at the bottom, um, just above the skirting board is uh, the first sign of mold growth. Now there is another quite large batch up here, um, which does need, does need addressing, um, but we'll, first of all we're going to concentrate on uh, this little area here. And um, that would be very easy to trick people into believing that's actually rising damp. It isn't rising damp. Um, we also have another batch just up here. And as mentioned earlier, this. So let's get started. So this is our magic box of magic tricks. Um, please don't judge me about the state of it. It's all used. Um, Here's the first wee bit of tool that we use here, it's the moisture meter. Um, if you can see that there, the first thing that's obvious here is the fact that it's only like nine and a half degrees Celsius in here and there's a dew point of seven degrees. So basically when any of the moist air strikes something at seven degrees Celsius or low, lower, it actually reverts back to moisture. Now, I'll just show you the thermal imaging camera. You can see there, there's quite a lot of insulation, missing insulation. And if I just point that crosshairs at that corner where the mold damage is, the top left there, that's reading 11 degrees Celsius at the minute. Um, now it is early in the morning, so it's not going to take very long for that to drop down to the dew point level of seven degrees during the cold period. Now there, as I say, a big patch of mist insulation up there, and it's actually the whole way around the ceiling. Big patch up there, missing as well. And then we come down to the lower levels, and surprise, surprise, where we're getting the mold growth. You just see there, where we're getting the mold growth, you've also got a cold spot. And there we are yet again, another cold spot, another molded surface. So immediately we can tell in this property there is a problem with um, the insulation. So I just want to rectify that now. We're going to drill a couple of holes in the wall and see if the insulation is actually missing or if there ever was any there in the first place. Thank you very much for watching today's show. All broadcasts from House Doctor and I are completely free, but we would ask that you do hit the like and subscribe button below and share any of these videos with anyone you feel needs our help. Over the next coming weeks we are going to be uploading some more really informative little videos on how to look after your home, how to keep it mold free, how to keep it damp free. Um, so please, as I say, hit the like and subscribe button and the little bell, that'll give you a warning notification that we've actually uploaded a new video. Many thanks.